and knocked into losers by who? Austin. Oh, yes, Austin. The guy who beat him 3-2 in winners and is sitting currently winner's side of grand finals. Maybe somebody that uh, y'all should be keeping your eyes on. You know, just maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Well, maybe. Well, just to maybe. Be seen. I don't know. Army can do something a little bit different than what happened in the winner's set. MVD did a very good job of locking down the Olimar. And maybe Army can carry this momentum from his loser's semi set here into loser's finals against MVD. Yeah. Now, this is a rematch from winners, and MVD took it so, so solidly over Army and winners. It was not close, it was not pretty, it was not competitive for the first game, or, game and a half. Uh, but right now, Army's got a lead. Mm -hmm. An Army is taking it to the bank. Pretty significantly, we've seen that Army has had the ability to take the stocks, but normally he requires some time, and the grenades mean that he needs to do it quickly. Ooh, what a nice early termination on the fly to get out of the range of that Nikita. Watch out for the grenade. That's a back air. That's tackable, though. MVD was able to escape the situation with his life, and the up tilt wow. is going to take that Almar stock. We yeah. saw earlier, up tilt takes Ness stock at 100 clean. I am terrified at how low it would take an all of ours. I, yeah, you gotta be terrified of that. You also gotta be scared, if you're rooting for ARMY, of seeing him immediately panic roll onto the stage when MVD's putting the pressure on him on, or rather, off stage. No, but when he's on stage, he's looking all right. Quickly evened up the percents. MVD chilling at 66 and climbing. If he can play that Olimar game, less interactive, he can make it work. Yeah, that Nikita's gonna snipe. It's so hard to deal with when you have this no hitbox recovery. There, there we go, is. finally times that whistle properly. Only one lone Pikmin to help Army right now. It's not a large frame window to make that happen. It's impressive that Army was even able to get one. The extra shield stun on that electric Pikmin is what let Army get away. That back air though, low to the ground is gonna take it. Army living to 177 though, so impressive. Oh Staying my away. god. His Pikmin, th this matchup is rough sometimes when the Pikmin bring, bring the grenade back to you because they think this is an item that will help you, my leader. And then it blows up in your face. Yeah. It's rough, man. Going Army. deep. Wow, he went deep with all three of his Pikmin, too. That pivot grab was so clean from MVD, resetting this ledge trap. Board tilt's gonna push him back off to the other side. Oh. oh, extended hitbox. I want to know, I want to know the man who repairs Olimar's suit, because he, is, he, is, he makes quick work. He's working double time, man. He's working triple time, even. Woo. Army's still not finding the stock, but purple off the side will. But he's sitting definitely at a, that mortar came back down and he wasn't ready. No. He was absolutely a percent to die to up tilt, forward tilt. There's a lot of things this snake could have taken the job. Many things could have gone wrong there for Army, and one of them did. So, MVD taking that game one. Although, dissimilarly to the game one we saw in the winner's set, that time Army got three stocked, and this time he's been keeping it way closer. He's starting to figure out the, how he needs to play against this snake of MVD. I think that definitely we've seen a lot of that success when he is on stage, and he's not trying to break that zone from Snake. He's able to land those Pikmin shots. It's just a matter of can he get the timing down? Going back to Pokemon Stadium 2, Army ain't afraid of the stage. Now, a lot of people are when it comes to Snake. They think this is his best stage, but honestly, it's real good for Olimar too. You can tell. 81% off the bat for Army. There you go. That long reach of that blue got him a pivot grab. Army has a solid percent lead. Solid percent lead, but Snake mm. trying to evaporate that getup attack. Help wow. Those grenades were so well set up from MBD where Army just was He's sandwiched stuck. between two of them. He is stuck now. Wow, Great he shield. reacted. He had to have that audio cue. Yeah. Audio cue's big. Nah, he ain't got any headphones in. Well, then he was just a real smart. Yeah, maybe the volume's in there. This matchup is really difficult without audio cues, so hopefully that monitor is turned way up. Uh-huh. Got to hear it over the crowd right now, who is 
watching MVD make big comebacks. He is in the lead, and we were saying Army had 131 on quick at the start of this game. Yeah. But he Not keeps running into the C4. Lead. He just can't seal the stock. There we go. Bagger finally takes it. Army's sitting at 58. We'll watch out that mortar. Wow. And Army's had a lot of trouble in the past with the Nikita missile. These recoveries without hitboxes, sometimes there's not a lot you can do. Down throw, MVD, getting a whole lot started. Wow, just this straight up smash gonna do it. Ooh, up smash is a grenade, that Pikmin dies, the damage is dealt. And MVD is running away with this. Wow, he footstooled him and then blew himself up with the C4. MVD having a little bit of trouble getting control of himself there. That would, that's, a, that's a fumble. Yeah, and not one that you see often from a guy like MVD. He's normally very sure-footed. We're going to need a lot more of those for Army to, to clean this up at this rate. Well, right now, Army knows he doesn't want to be anywhere near those grenades, but every single one of those clicks signifies another three seconds of Army backing off. And I've, I've said it before, we've seen a lot of snakes on stream today, but none of them come even close to the APM that MVD brings to the table. This it's, man is constantly pressing buttons. It may be Mostly a, the B button. It may be a lot of the same button, right? But damn it if he doesn't press it a whole lot. It's still impressive. Okay, Army finally catches that up smash. Takes that stock, <laughs> he is hitting at a percent with that up tilt is gonna do it. Narrowly avoids that explosion. I'd like to say that I really like the way that MVD is using the C4 on the platforms there where he just drops it on and then uses it to cover Army jumping out of shield. He just hasn't obliged on it yet. Uh oh, MVD going real low, but Army going also very low to try to challenge it. Oh, that was a forward smash. Ooh. Yeah, punishes the roll. What a read from MVD. Perhaps even a bait. You see the way he turned around and just waited? MVD is stone cold right now. It was all smiles on the winter set, but Army is trying to joke around a little bit. He's just saying, challenge. I, I got to make you. it back to Grands. He's got to make it back to Grands to get his run back, but Army wants one too. You're looking at two of the best players against the guy in Grand Finals in the world. And one of them's Army's gonna get there. But yeah, you're saying Army's gotta dig deep if he wants to be the one to get there. Mm -hmm. Three, two, gonna try a change one, of scenery. I enjoy this. Uh, and the stage choice, I'll leave that up to you to determine, neighbor, but I at least like that he's changing it up. Yeah, I mean, you know the PS2 is traditionally one of Snake's best stages. This gives him less. It looks like it was working out for him well in uh, set one, at least. Less to worry about with this positioning of the C4. Mm -hmm. At the very least, if it's on the middle platform, it's going to be calling out full hops. It's that second transformation that you're going to be seeing that C4 get a lot more deadly. Oh, yeah. Right now, MVD doesn't need it off the top with the mortar. Not going to be getting any armor on that whistle. That was the quickest termination of a, of a white Pikmin I've seen. He pulled him out, and then the white Pikmin said, sorry, got a blast. Love that quick down recovery from MVD. Immediately popping himself onto the stage. That shot catches Army trying to land. Double grenades. Love that setup on the ledge. Wow. It just looks like a daisy cutter on stage. C4 down, middle right of the stage there. Keep that in mind when Army tries to chase him down. And look, MVD, so the way that MVD went past Army over there was not because he couldn't find the hit, but because he wanted Army to run away into that C4 again. There you go. Army finding a landing hitbox. He's got to hold on to this stock. He's definitely an up tilt kill percent. Dash attack makes this even more true. Nikita gets canceled by the fire Pikmin. Look at those, all three Pikmin died to one up tilt. You thought that move wasn't busted. I don't know what to tell you. Army didn't have any Pikmin to throw out any hitboxes to challenge that Nikita either. He only had the whistle, didn't time it properly, and dropped that stock. Mm -hmm. No hitbox on his recovery. 
Tough sitch for him. He's down a stock against MVD, who just continues to pile on the explosive C4 down middle platform. That hurt box shifting from MVD with a back air escaped the juggle situation. Army potentially on his tournament stock, sitting at a dangerous percent. Definitely reaching those up to kill percents for such a light character as Olimar, and MVD's got a cushion stock after this one. Mm -hmm. Boy, just the way he's using the C4 to bait Army's movement has been so smart. And when he knows that Army knows where the C4 is, he detonates it and goes for a fresh one. Army was finally able to find that up throw with the blue. Eat him out of the game. Ooh, but he's got a lot of work to do to even this up. Wow, he challenged it. Cojones. Got away with it, too. That crouch, watch out! That's one thing that MVD loves doing. He'll sit there, crouch, low profile, a ton of moves. He's got that tilt stick rocking. He's got such a fast up tilt uh, that you can go from, like, super, super low profile crouching to such a high hitbox so yeah. fast. It's really beautiful with punish. It's, it's terrifying. If I see Snake crouching like that, I am not jumping in. We've, Absolutely we've, we've not. We've talked about the patience that MVD has. It's incredible how much goes into those setups and how much he's willing to dig deep into how your brain works and what makes you want to go where on the stage, how the C4 influences that. This is all stuff that he has done hours upon hours, probably weeks of research on just wondering how does my C4 placement, how does my grenade placement affect different types of players? And he had a hard lock on army in that game.